Thank you guys for tuning in to NC Streets. Today we're going to be going over the removal of the splash guards and uh, sand them down and repaint them. Taking a flathead screwdriver, popping those plastic push pins out. Once you have the four bolts out on the bottom, just kind of pull down on that plastic. There's a couple push clips in there. So it will just pop free. Super simple to take off. And then this other side's the same thing. Today, we're gonna be cleaning up these splash guards, sanding them down, and then respraying them with a uh, plastic spray paint. Alright, that's what I need, sir. So that right there is just uh, the greaser that I'm using. Putting a paper towel, scrubbing that down, trying to get any, anything off those plastics. You'll see in a second, I had to scrape off. I don't know if it was tar or if it's rubber. But that was kind of stuck to the plastic that the greaser didn't want to get off, so I just scraped off the screwdriver. Always cold and painting that everything's done in the prep work. So just take your time, clean it, clean it real good. Get all that dirt and grime and everything else off of them. Scrub both sides of that decreaser really good. Just make sure that I didn't have anything sticking on there. And then this is me taking that screwdriver to that tar or rubber or whatever it was that was stuck to it. Once I scrape it off, I wipe it all down again, make sure that there's no debris on it. That's just like a scotch brite pad that I started out with. Not sure what the grid is on that. I think I started out with a 150 grit sandpaper. That part of the plastic you're not even going to see on the car. I just wanted to get all of it off while I had it off the car already. And I think I went to like a, a 230 grit sandpaper. The last sandpaper I will use was a 320 grit.
I use that degreaser to clean it. I probably should use some alcohol just because it dries faster. But you want to make sure it's completely dry before you start painting or anything like that. This is the other side, same thing. Now we got it all sanded up and ready to paint. Got it out here outside and we're going to spray it with some of this uh, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch two times extra coverage paint and primer. It's good for plastic, wood, metal. Um, we're just going to put a couple light coats on it see how it looks. So right here you just want to go real light on it. Wait a couple minutes and then spray it again. That's the after. So when you go to reinstall the splash guards, you want to start at the very top um, in that wheel well. There's a little, I guess like almost tab that you push the plastic in and then you can pop those push clips into place. And then under the car is where you put those four bolts back in. Simple as that. 